Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to go ahead and start the reading for you. We are coming up to the full moon lunar eclipse. Super moon in Sagittarius. Right now the moon is in Scorpio. And we do have a yod today, the hand of fate or destiny. Um, and it has to do with the energy of Gemini talking over to Pluto and Capricorn, major change or transformation, destruction of the 10th house, refutation, over to secrets that come up, Scorpio, up to Mercury and Gemini, words or communication that is said. Now, there's very strong water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, and Cancer again, with the energies of the moon, Neptune, and Mars. So that's um, feeling intuitive about things that aren't real and then possibly getting angry or frustrated, um, that's to me fear based on the way you feel. We have here Mercury, Pluto, and the moon in Scorpio bringing about the hand of fate or destiny. Okay, so yachts are intense energies. They create frustration, tension, or pressure. But they're good because they can bring about a change. Hangman, pausing, waiting, surrendering. Six of water. Memories of the past. It could be a person from the past, but it is... Scorpio energy it has to do with emotional history pausing reflecting with the hangman messages for Aries for today Ace of Rods, something exciting and new, something ex inspiring. Okay, I'm going to cut it because we don't have a lot of popping cards. Okay, two of coin on the bottom, trying to find balance. Six of coin, generosity, helping someone, giving money. Five of air. This is arrogance, conflict, division. Two, page of error. Again, it's the same. It's communication with someone that is very immature. They like to start drama. You are stable. Aries energy. Four of wands. It's emperor energy. There is something sort of triggering going on. High priestess around you. Someone very intuitive. Psychic. Page of Wands, or yeah, dealing with a youthful, younger, immature fire energy. Somebody is delivering this message of the Ace. There's a King of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Man. And the Magician, manipulation, maneuvering, making something happen. Queen of Pentacles. So there's a couple. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It could be money matters. Something to do with money. Ooh, and we have a ten of water. We have the happily ever after, the happy home, um, the emotional completion, and the wheel of fortune, and the seven of coin. I was feeling like there's money matters. And there's a five of water. There's a sadness or there's a focus on sadness here. 
the devil, restrictions, control, and four of cups, dismissive energy, a lack of interest, and seven of cups. Somebody feels like they have lots of options. And the star, there's healing. Okay, so to me it looks like something very positive is going to happen here. There's something about change. However, just go. Okay, so however, there is a five of swords and a page of swords. Wow, five of swords is on the bottom. Um, it's arrogance. It's somebody who wants to feel like they're having minor victories all the time. Um, but they don't care. It's a it's a not it's a low vibrational energy of conflict. Page of Swords it brings in the Ace of Swords. They bring in the new difficult information. Um, it could be gossip sometimes. What is this Five of Swords about? What is this Five of Swords about? Somebody is at a crossroads in this situation. They're thinking about going in a new direction. Six of air. Somebody wants to move on or block communication. They want peace. Eight of wands. Fast moving information. What is the page of swords? Needing to be strong um, and calm if somebody is like starting something, like very petty, a petty argument. What is the high priestess in the environment? Ten of air, wow. There's something here about maybe a secret. Um, there's pain or... Something about the ending of pain, but there is pain, hermit. Somebody's withdrawing from everyone. What is the Ace of Wands here? Wow, okay. Something exciting is sparked <clears throat> between two people. Two of Cups. Ace of Rods. There could be a Leo here. Or a Gemini. Wow, the Ace of Water. New potential for love, peace, or healing. There's a potential for love. The feelings are there. But there's someone here who really is caught up in the fight or the argument. Um, what is the Six of Swords? What is the Six of Swords? Emperor Aries... Powerful, uh, someone who's an authority. It could be somebody returning to you as well. What is the king of coin? Ten of coin. Long-term money, wealth, abundance, long-term commitments with a person. And um, what is the four of wands energy here? The empress. Venus. Abundance. Um... Someone who is very stable and has a lot to give to the world. So what is this page of swords and strength? Queen of water, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio is involved in a situation. And the death card could be Scorpio. There could be an ending of some kind. Let's see. What is the death card about? Six of Cups. There's a change in something to do with memories or an emotional history with someone. And we have Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune. Something is changing. What is the Ten of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles? The Knight of Cups. Could be an apology, a message of love coming in. Okay. 
This reading to me doesn't make a lot of sense. It just shows like there's an opportunity to heal and yet someone doesn't want to. They want to maintain their like side. If they're if there's an argument, they're like, well, I'm still fighting. Queen of Wands, Aries energy. You're coming up as a queen. You're not coming up as you're coming up as Emperor and the Queen. You're not coming up as a page. So what do we have? A Ten of Cups, the happily ever after. Emotional fulfilling situations. A Five of Pentacles, feeling left out in the cold. Financial issues. So <clears throat> you could be in a situation where you have commitments to other people, but there's something about feeling not appreciated. The star, hope and healing coming in. Hanging man, there's a pause or a waiting period and a two of pentacles needing to find balance. Needing to manage. Magician is here, tried to jump. Okay, there's a five of wands. There's a conflict of some kind. What is this five of swords with the two of wands? The high priestess, a secret. The six of wands, somebody wants attention. And the three of swords, there's pain here surrounding a situation, maybe a separation. then this Knight of Cups comes in. So there might be some kind of apology, positive, happy news. Two of, or four of coin and two of swords. A lot of mental conflict, five of swords on the bottom. There's like this energy of blame. I feel like somebody could be blaming the other person. Wait, you're okay. Okay, let's see what we get for you, Aries, with this chakra wisdom. Following your instincts, soulmates, and then here we have balance. It came out with facade and workaholic. Somebody could be a workaholic. There's balance coming into the situation. That's the justice card. Enjoy. Okay, so something will resolve whatever it is that you're going through. It will resolve. Okay, Aries, this is your daily reading. Thank you so much for tuning in and take care.